Pakistan is predominantly an agriculture country and economically dependent on agriculture sector where about two-thirds of its 135 million population is dependent either directly or indirectly on agriculture sector. Agriculture is the backbone of Pakistan. Other than agriculture, fisheries is its subsector. Fisheries play an important role in the national economy and contributes towards food security of Pakistan. Fisheries contributes 1% in the total GDP of Pakistan and absorbs 1% of the country's labor force. In Pakistan, half million people are fishers and most of them have livelihoods associated with marine fisheries. From 1999 to 2000, Pakistan exported 92,000 tons of fish and fisheries products which equates to 139 billion US dollars. According to records, Pakistan produced 6,54,500 tons of fish in 2000, out of which 4,74,400 tons, which is around 72% of fish, were caught from marine water and 1,80,000 tons were caught from inland waters, which includes rivers, streams and lakes. Out of this inland waters, 80% were caught from irrigated canals and lakes, and 20% were caught from fish farming or aquaculture, which benefits from irrigation. Sidhanai Baraj, as part of Pakistan irrigation system, was constructed after the Indus Basin Treaty as a component of Indus Basin project. This project was launched with the help of the World Bank under an agreement during September 1960 between India and Pakistan. The treaty provided that the waters of the three western rivers, Indus, Jehlum and Chenab, were to be allocated to Pakistan and the waters of the eastern rivers Ravi, Bayas and Satluj to India. To meet with the requirement of the areas earlier fed by eastern rivers, a system of replacement works was implemented under Indus Basin Development Fund Agreement. The new works constructed as a result of treaty consisted of Mangla Dam, Tarbela Dam, five barrages, which also includes Sidnai Baraj, and eight major link canals to transfer water between the rivers. Some existing canal systems were also remodeled. These works taken together were called Indus Basin Project. The meaning of the word Sidnai is a straight river. A stretch of 8 miles of river Ravi at Sidnai is nearly straight and does not meander. It is thought that it could be an artificial channel excavated in the distant past to prevent flooding in the Multan region. Sidnai Barrage was designed to pass a maximum peak discharge of 1,50,000 cusick located about 31,000 foot upstream of the old weir. Downstream straight reach was excavated and widened to increase the capacity from 100,000 Q6 to 1,50,000 Q6. The object of Sidnai Barrage is to receive water from Janab and Jehlum rivers at Trimu Barrage through Trimu Sidnai Link Canal for feeding Sidnai and Sidnai Melsi Bahawal canals. Sidnai is also 
very famous for tourism, recreation, enjoyment, and as an educational and learning point to understand our main water body structures, natural flora and fauna, and environmental effects on aquatic environment. It is also a leased area for freshwater fisheries. Our purpose to make this documentary is to give general awareness about, about the Sydney Barrage and its environmental and ecological importance. Sydney Barrage on River Ravi is a famous angling spot and play an important role in Pakistan irrigation system. It has important flora and fauna for the environment in its vicinity, but our main focus is on freshwater fish in Sydney angling spot. Some famous freshwater fishes in this area are Rohu, Silver Carp, Kagga, Grass Carp, Big Head, Maori, Soul and Thaila. Season is also a very important factor for fishing at Sydney Point. Visiting Sydney Barrage is more enjoyable for fishing during winter season as the water discharge is minimum around one around 10,000 Q6. In shallow water it is easy to monitor environmental concerns and to catch fish. Traditionally fishers uses a gill net to catch fish that swim into it. It has a float line along the top and a lead line along the bottom. The netting hangs straight up and down in the water like a good fence. A gill net catches fish by their gills. Gill nets can be used in many other ways. The major sources of service water in Pakistan are the Indus River and its tributaries. Fishing in these waters is widely spread in all the provinces. There are around 200 types of fish species in Pakistan in which Rohu, Thela, Mori, Grass Carp, Silver Carp and Big Head are quite popular. There are some game fish as well, for example, Pari. These fish species are very important for our marine ecosystem. They control the growth of exotic species and unwanted vegetation. If they become extinct, it will severely impact our marine ecosystem. These fishes are sourced out from irrigation system in Pakistan and migrates to different regions and covers long distance for breeding and laying eggs. Some of them migrate from Arabian Sea towards Indus Delta and some from inland waters of Punjab to Himalaya region. In Pakistan, only two barrages have fish ladders, but they are not functioning properly. Temulusa Elisha travels 200 kilometers for breeding in the Indus River. These rivers and canals are the chief breeding areas and the principal fish producers. However, these major sources of surface waters have lost their purity due to pollution. Similarly, due to the formation of water body structures such as Gudu Barrage at Indus River, it inhibit fish movement and reduce their population size. In similar way, Mangala Dam hinders the movement of famous wild fish Tor putitora and causing its extinction. In addition to it, no further development has occurred in the canal systems for increasing fish production. The life of fish is more difficult in canals as compared to life of fish in rivers. In fact, any fish that entered into canal is doomed to perish. This is because at least twice in a year, closure of canals take place. 
there is also no fish ladder provided in the canals. Some barrages do have fish ladder but most of them are ineffective. In Sidnai barrage there is no fish ladder. Fish ladders are very important for fish to migrate. They are developed for fish to easily pass these structures on water channels. Apart from rivers, streams and lakes, vegetation alongside the river banks are very important for our environment. These vegetation serves several purposes that includes strengthen the banks of the river and to avoid water logging. These specifically trees that are planted alongside the streams and rivers are very important for flora and fauna. Due to illegal cutting of trees it is causing rapid erosion and widening of river banks. Without these vegetation alongside river banks the groundwater will rise up to the surface and cause water logging resulting in increased salinity of soil and water and can cause crop damage. Irrigation system in Pakistan is important for Pakistan's agricultural production. Pakistan's irrigation system is used for several purposes. Most important is agriculture, wastewater discharge, livestock, recreation, fisheries production, transport and hygiene. In year 2000, Pakistan produced 5,40,000 tons of fish out of which 1,80,000 were from rivers and streams. Pakistan fish consumption is 2 kg per capita which is very low. In Pakistan there are no effective statistics available for the sustainable use of fisheries through our reservoirs but through the process of hatchery we can introduce fishes into it. In this way we can make use of our water reservoirs in a sustainable way. In Pakistan not much significance is given to fish production through canal system which also includes Trimu Sidnai Link Canal and Haveli Main Line Canal as it can be seen in the video. There are many causes of reduced fish selfish and seaweed production in Sidnai region from natural waters. Amongst these, aquatic pollution is the main cause. Aquatic pollution stems from the industrial sewage waste effluents from big cities and use of pesticides and insecticides. Among other factors, construction of barrages on the rivers, global warming, heated effluents from power generating plants and drought change the entire ecology of natural waters and reduce fish production. In Pakistan, rapid industrialization and urbanization has resulted in increased discharge of various types of effluents into natural waters. Besides, due to ever increasing use of insecticides and pesticides, the part of these chemicals get their way into natural waters. All this has an adverse effect on aquatic environment and on fish. The fish in Sidnai water is very delicious in its taste and nutritional value, but due to the discharge of sewage, industrial and groundwater runoff in the freshwater streams, as well as mismanagement, illegal catchment of fishes, the fish quantity has reduced as compared to previous years. Now fish quality has decreased and the water has also chemical odor. Sources of pollutants entering river Ravi. Getting into detail, we find out that pollutants entering into river Ravi can be grouped mainly into industrial effluents, 
domestic sewage and agricultural chemicals. Industrial effluents includes but not limited to acids mainly inorganic and some organic from acid manufacturing, chemical industry, steel industry, antibiotics from pharmaceutical industry, detergents from textile manufacture, agricultural chemicals like insecticides and pesticides and other chemicals used in agricultural spray find their way into surface waters and gas gas pollution. Insecticides used commonly for example DDT, parathione, dieldrin and melathione from agricultural spray disturb the action of central nervous system of fishes. Ammonia from cloth manufacture, fertilizer manufacture, rubber industry upsets water balance level by increasing permeability. With the increasing industrialization and manufacturing of new products with new and varied processes, industrial pollution has increased both in qualitative and quantitative terms. The industries are situated in big cities and their effluents treated or untreated find their way into surface waters.